Hey you guys, welcome to my Venus Do Sign series. This is for Venus in Virgo. So if in your birth chart Venus is sitting in the sign of Virgo, this is for you. Um, those of you that don't know where your Venus is sitting, you can pause the video, go to astro.com, enter your birth information. It's going to ask for your birth time, place, and location, um, and generate a free birth chart for you. Um, if you don't know your exact birth time, you can put 12 p.m., that's fine. We just want to see where Venus is sitting. Um, also, yes, your Sun and Venus can be sitting in the same sign because I get that question a lot. And then those of you that do know your exact birth time, if you don't have Venus in Virgo, but you have Virgo as your seventh house, uh, this should apply to you as well. So let's go ahead and see the messages that we have. Okay, so for those of you, sorry, let me go ahead and show you the cards. I have Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups, Five of Cups, <laughs> sorry. I've been going all day and I'm just kind of like ready to be finished. <laughs> King of Wands, Ace of Swords, the Empress, Nine of Swords, Five of Wands, and the King of Cups. Okay, so I'm feeling like those of you that um, could have gone through a breakup uh, or a separation, I feel like there could be a reconciliation for you guys. Um, so you guys are reconnecting, uh, talking things out, talking about the past, saying what you'll never do again. So I'm feeling like someone is making some sort of promises. Um, maybe you lost someone's trust or someone lost your trust. Um, I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Okay, I went away. Um, you could also be dealing with a fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sag, or you might be Sagittarius with, uh, Virgo, Venus. Wait a minute. Can you have that? No, you cannot. I'm sorry. You might be a Leo with your Venus and Virgo. Um, or King of Cups here, you could be dealing with a water sign. Uh, so Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, but whatever the case, uh, there could have been some sort of conflict and now uh, you guys are reconciling or kissing and making up and uh, talking about all the things that you know went wrong or what have you. Now, um, those of you that are single, like the Ten of Cups as a central issue, I feel this is more about you fantasizing about someone that um, you have a connection with or uh, fantasizing about the person that you want to be with here. Uh, I don't know what this disappointment is, but I feel like whatever you were disappointed about in the past, uh, something happens to restore your faith or make you believe in love again. Um, maybe you thought this person wasn't interested and then maybe, uh, I don't know, all of a sudden there's flirtation or they uh, kind of let you know that they are interested. Uh, but I am seeing flirtation. I'm seeing communication. Someone is kind of being straight up honest with you. Maybe they're telling you that you're attractive or beautiful or paying you some sort of compliment or, you know, this can go the other way around. Um, but yeah, I'm seeing someone being confident, too, in being what they have to say. Um someone is they're putting something out there and they're not they're not taking it back they're just like no i meant what i said now there's something going on though where someone is feeling like some sort of anxiety overthinking something um maybe they feel that they have to put on some sort of image for one person maybe there's some sort of need to be you or be your real self or maybe this person feels like they need to be them their real selves like they have been being phony at first or something um but i'm seeing someone kind of uh stressing about a connection here now also i'm seeing someone who is in a relationship but they're being tempted by someone and maybe this has happened in the past maybe you've let your partner down in the past or they let you down in the past because i'm seeing I'm seeing this uh, third party or this temptation 
happening again. And someone is trying to hold their word. They're like, my word is bond or I promise to not to do this again. Um, you know, and someone is feeling bound by their, their word or bound by their promise here. Um, and they're trying to fight off this connection or you're trying to fight off a connection that you're having for someone because you're trying to remain faithful or loyal or, you know, you're in a relationship. So, um, now some people might be pretending to be happy in a relationship when they're really not. Uh, they're just, um, putting on the illusion of being happy, but really there's, trouble in paradise, you know, there's some sort of affair going on or, you know, things just aren't going right. right. There have been fighting behind the scenes. Um, and then there's just this, this stress to uphold this positive or happy image when really is, is, is stress is stressful. It's not perfect at all. Um, now also I'm seeing you guys, somebody's involved with someone who has really beautiful eyes. Um, they might be light colored, like blue or hazel or um, what do you call it? Aqua, whatever. Their, their eyes are light. There's something very unique about their eyes. If their eyes aren't light, then they have very distinguished bedroom eyes. Like you're very drawn to their eyes and you're like, oh my God, I could stare in this person's eyes all day long. Um, or this could be you. And this is how the other person feels about you. You know, they're uh, they're in love with your beautiful eyes here. Um, I'm also getting someone who I'm getting someone who is uh, fair skin and I'm getting someone who is also maybe dark skin or, you know, in a brown family. Um, and I'm seeing also someone that has uh, one person has clean facial features or just like the five o'clock shadow and another person has like a nice uh groomed beard and mustache um heavy dark eyelashes uh someone i'm getting has like uh, a heavy accent um i don't i know that's probably not for everyone but i i'm feeling like someone has a heavy accent and i am picking up someone who is middle eastern descent um middle eastern or pakistan like i'm feeling like someone comes from um an islamic background I, although i know everybody from middle east is not arab or muslim or whatever have you but i am getting like those energies here for somebody um so yeah let me also just kind of clarify a few things here let's see what this Five of Cups is that someone is grieving over. Someone might be beating themselves up too. Someone might be a perfectionist and they're beating themselves up about something that they could have done better. Yeah, someone is just in their head about something. Uh, they're unable to get the past off of their mind or past mistake off of their mind. Um, also, some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There's a need for somebody to get over their uh, previous way of thinking uh, because you might find yourself stuck in the past or you're letting your sadness cripple you or prevent you from moving forward. But I mean, I feel like that might be the past. I feel like you're going to overcome that, especially with the Ten of Cups here. Uh, I feel like you're going to have clarity in a matter. Um, so some sort of truth is going to come out. And I feel like someone is getting something off of their chest. Uh, let me also just kind of further clarify the Nine of Swords. And I'm feeling like the number nine may be significant for somebody. So I don't know if something happens on the 9th 
or something happens within nine days, nine hours, nine days. Oh, and it's actually 917 here. So this might have something to do with the nine o'clock hour. So maybe nine o'clock your time, maybe in the morning. I'm feeling like there's someone who doesn't want to remember. They don't want to think about someone from the past or they're being very guarded towards someone who is trying to return. Um, especially those of you who I said I felt like temptation was resurfacing. Uh, maybe you're trying to guard or protect yourself from this person, but this person always has a place in your heart. I feel like you might try to avoid this person, but you keep thinking about them. They haven't left your mind. Yeah, someone is trying to come back around. Um, you feel bad because you can't get this person out of your mind. And then it's like they actually come around and it's just like, oh my God, like I feel like I'm under attack. Like someone just wants me to mess up. Um, so I'm feeling like someone is struggling with someone that they're thinking about. Also, you might be dreaming about this person, too. And it's just like, oh, why am I dreaming about this person? Um, and it's because maybe they're getting ready to reappear in your life. So, yeah, I feel like there's somebody returning that is like temptation. And you don't want them coming back around, but they are. Maybe there's some sort of unfinished business uh, with you and this person. Alright, so you guys, that is all that I have for Venus and Virgo. Hope it resonated. Um, again, I apologize. I know I usually give so much more detail, but I'm just kind of tired today. And I was already committed to doing the readings. But thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to leave your comments, like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.